Hello everybody! In today's video, we've got something very exciting. We're going to be checking out Bungie's new Vidoc for their upcoming game called Marathon. If you're new to my channel, welcome! My name is Emma, I stream on Twitch, and I play Destiny 2, which is Bungie's current ongoing game. For those of us like myself, who have historically loved Destiny PvP, but have been disappointed in it in recent years, I think we've got our fingers crossed that whatever this new game is, it might fill that void for us. But I'm rooting for Bungie and let's see what this new game Marathon is all about. Okay, let's see what we've got. Okay, whoa. In Bungie's oh. next game, we're combining the rich history of Marathon that looks like Destiny. with a PvP extraction shooter where players an extraction shooter? I think that's just going to be a magic formula. Are they inventing the new kind the of VR? You and you're exploring the hostile world of Tau City 4, looking for mysterious artifacts, okay. implants, and weapons for your runner that are just going to make your character stronger. Oh, okay, you we're make runners. The best things on the shoulders of giants. And in our case, those giants are Halo and Destiny. Halo and Destiny. The team's been leveraging Destiny. 30 years of experience and innovation and passion to create Marathon. Ooh, okay, I'm excited. Somewhere in the heavens. So in Marathon, you're a runner. A runner is a cybernetic mercenary. They're oh. this combination of fashion and sci-fi. <laughs> okay, cyberpunk. I like it. They're just so cool. Whoa! Be able to represent yourself in really interesting ways, but then also there's gonna be gameplay modifications, which is gonna be awesome, and it means that you and the other two people those characters look sick. Play styles. I think the runners are gonna be a really great way for players to shape their gameplay. Oh, it just feels like Tau Destiny. <laughs> Visually, we wanted to make sure this world pushed back on you. Oh, in the cat. Right amount. Ooh. You're going to drop into persistent zones. You never know what you're going to find or who you're going to face. Mm. You're trying to get out alive, and so is everyone else. Are you serious? Like we're Tarkov? We're combining the best mm -hmm. of that bungee touch and feel gameplay, but we're adding that incredible tension and these emotional highs and lows. We want that kind okay. of just surprising... I love Battle Royale, mystery. so if this is similar going to into that. Imagine the basement of one of the colony buildings, and it's That'll like be flooded exciting. with water murkiness it's too quiet just the sloshing of your footsteps around the corner you see some beam of green light and you're like oh no what is that is it pv pve Marathon is a game where you're always one run away from greatness so you might find like the sick loot in this corner you might find the compiler in that corner but every choice you make matters it's great to see some of those moments in the world that just kind of naturally happen as players collide. Mm. What runners are doing is gonna be that exciting narrative that unfolds over the course of a season. Okay. Who knows what's gonna happen, but imagine if one crew happens to find an alien key. They place it on this altar and then they get memorialized for opening up the next zone. And they have to go and figure out how to then unlock that for everybody else. There's a lot of ways to feel like Oh my god, that's like the best PvP parts of Destiny. One. You can win by getting out with the most And community events. I love that they're bringing that to this game. The world combines into creating bigger, more valuable artifacts. I've had a run where I've got all the pieces to get a prime artifact. I could get out. I could win. And then I hear gunfire in a building nearby and I know I just need one more piece to get that prime. And that's hmm. a decision that we want players to have to make. You can choose to engage the other team. You can choose to just find the artifact. And then you can choose to just get out. I am down. Okay. I actually shared an exfil with someone. They started shooting me. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> like, I downed them. And then I let them go. And that's the point. Like, I could play. All wholesome. She demonstrated her power. And then she let them go. <laughs> There's just so many different ways you can be famous or infamous. Did you help somebody who really needed help? Or you became world first because you unlocked the zone. Or you are the best runner in the world because you've climbed the leaderboard all the way to the top rank and everybody knows it. Mm. Competitive. Marathon. 
his Destiny or Bungie game. Bold, colorful, stylized art. That's vibrant. Yeah, it's I like it. Beautiful, but also mysterious. It's familiar, but also strange. We're really trying to find the right mix of beauty and mystery. When I jump into the game, I'm just like running for my life. But at the same time, I'll be like, oh, this bush is so beautiful. Oh, this is so <laughs> That's me. That's me because when I play games. Like, I'm like, oh, it's such style. a cozy little It's a balancing act to figure out field. where do we dial it to 11, where do we dial it back to 6, and which objects and which elements of the world do we really want to highlight. It's something fresh and sort of uncharted territory. With Marathon, Bungie is very clearly focusing on PvP and Hell from yeah. the ground up. The integrity of the experience has been absolutely critical. Mm -hmm. And it was non-negotiable that Bungie was going to be investing in dedicated servers for Marathon, Disconnect Recovery, okay. and Fog of War. Like, without those elements, none of this matters. So we actually have a like to hear team it. in charge of security and making sure the game like is, is as fair as possible. That's pretty. Marathon's going to be releasing on PS5, Xbox Series X, and S, and PC, and it's going to have full okay. cross-save and cross-play. Nice! We are marching towards our alpha, which is really exciting. We wish we could show Ooh. you all the cool stuff that we're working How on right soon? now, but we can't do it just yet. After this announcement, we are going to go dark for a while, for an extended period, while we focus on developing and playtesting the game. Makes sense. <laughs> Next time you hear from us, we're going to be much closer to release and we will be ready to reveal gameplay. Cool. Oh man, that is exciting. That's You're exciting. You're thwarted all the time and you've got to adapt. At the core, it's what it means to be human. I was just going to say you shoot people and take their stuff. <laughs> that was way better than I was going to do. Oh man. That is awesome. I'm very excited for that. Okay, well, that was really exciting. Um, so much to talk about. Um, I'm really happy that this is a PvP-focused game, but they mentioned Marathon being an extraction shooter game, which to me sounds like Tarkov, but I'm not very familiar with Tarkov. It will be very interesting to see Bungie's spin on a style of game like that, because knowing Bungie, they're going to add their own little twist to it and make it something entirely unique of its own and i'm really excited for that they didn't mention when the alpha is going to be out but i hope i hope i could try it out and show you guys if you're new uh, i hope you'll like and subscribe and you should come and hang out with me on twitch i'm usually streaming destiny but i also do variety if you're interested in my variety content i have a second youtube channel called more she's emma i'll have it linked below I'm currently playing Zelda, so if any of that content sounds good to you, I hope you'll subscribe to my channels and follow me on Twitch. We'd love to have you in there. Come chat with us in stream. And yeah, be on the lookout for a marathon content from me. I'm excited to play it as soon as I can get my hands on it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone!